Hey, everybody. Welcome to uh, our week eight, uh, which is halfway through the semester. So that's exciting. Um, <laughs> uh, chapter six of the class. You would have just finished your midterm project last week, right? And and so now we're just moving on uh, back into the chapters of, of the book. So let me just pull that up and give you an overview of what we're covering this week. Um, so chapter six gets into investing and financing activities. And so that means investing activities means when a business buys long-term assets, things like land and buildings and equipment. Um, and financing is when we borrow money, um, like with notes payable, um, or uh, if we issue bonds, which is more rare for small businesses, that's usually just big businesses that do that. Or if we sell stock uh, in a business, which is also pretty rare for small businesses. Um, anyway, so that's kind of what we're covering this week. I know I've mentioned previously, but um, there's there's more than one way to deal with fixed assets or long-term assets in QuickBooks. Like, so if you buy a piece of equipment or a, a vehicle, and I really think the best way is to create the asset as a long-term or a fixed asset, um, and then create a sub-account to that asset that's called original cost. Um, and in that account, I'll record the cost of the asset um, and then create another sub account called accumulated depreciation. And that allows me to offset the depreciation against the original cost. And then the, the asset will show at the, the, the net or it, it's called the book value actually, which is any cost minus accumulated depreciation. Um, like I said, I know we've done that already, but I just want to kind of reiterate that. So anyway, so that's what we do in this chapter. The setup is just the same. Uh, in essence, you read through the chapter, watch the video, um, complete the walkthrough, and then complete the case assignment. Uh, and that's it. So hopefully it's not too bad. As always, don't be afraid to reach out if I can help in some way. Um, and have a great week.